Feral hogs are having an all-you-can-eat buffet on the cash crop of one valley farmer. The result is costing him thousands of dollars. Yeah, Channel 5's Stephen Sadavia tells us what's being done about this statewide issue. They would be the best customers. If only they paid for what they ate. Knocking our paycheck way down and we're just trying to prevent that and take them out before they take us out. Troy Shoemaker is no stranger to feral hogs running rampant on his cornfields. Any year we have them a good crop or have corn, they um, come out and taste everything, but they prefer the corn. He says the damage they can cause is extensive for a farmer. Ago we lost about three or four cars of corn, and um, each car is about 100,000 pounds. So anyway, 400,000 pounds, and if you do the math, it, it gets pretty costly. When the hogs tear through corn fields, they're only after one thing. And it's the ear of the corn located about right here. And this is what farmers make their money off of. Shoemaker isn't the only one battling this invasive species. According to the Texas Department of Agriculture, there are about 2.6 million feral hogs in the state, making it the highest hog population in the U.S. The shaded portion of this map shows all areas in Texas where they can be found. The hogs cause an estimated $52 million worth of damages to farmers each year. It's this reason Shoemaker wants them gone. That's our main goal right there, is to knock them out during April. He says his best option is to bring in hunters to help decrease their population. Well, if it rains um, tomorrow, that, that's a plan right, right after the rain. Go for it, because that's when all the animals will come out. He hopes the hogs won't eat too much before harvest in June. In Raymondville, Stephen Sarabia, Channel 5 News at 6. A note to Stevens report, the state is also looking into the feral hog problem. Earlier this year, the Texas Department of Agriculture approved the use of a hog bait, which can kill the invasive species. It contains only a fraction of the strength over-the-counter rat poison has. Now, while the bait is effective on the hogs, it has little effect on other animals who come across.